welcome back to Ayanika. This is an enigma. I'm going to be doing a general reading for Fab 8 to 14. Let's see the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Sign, and Taurus. First Rose Watchers can watch this read. As this is a general message, take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. <clears throat> for personal readings, white spells, and premium crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. See the messages. See you, Taurus. See the messages. See the messages. Follow my Instagram at iNika.in. Nine of Cups. Page of Swords. Queen of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, all your wishes are coming true. The kind of a job, the kind of an opportunity at work that you wanted is coming for you. I'm seeing a lot of money coming in, Taurus. You feel at peace. Like financial stability has finally come into your life and you feel at peace now. You feel you finally got where you wanted yourself to be. As if you've got a promotion, as if you've got a hike, as if you've got a visa or something like that. I feel it's something that involves your professional growth your material growth has happened so what i'm seeing is <clears throat> you're leaving something behind moving forward with a new beginning okay let me just pick some cards yeah i feel like there's a new opportunity at work in your career front that's going to change your life is coming in okay Things are no more the same. It might involve, it might require you to move, move out, relocate, go to a different place. Any which way, I'm seeing you finding a new life purpose for yourself or expansion at your work by, you know, gaining more knowledge, learning more, growing more, uplifting your spirits. This is what I'm seeing. It's happening with you. All your wishes are going to be true when it comes to your material wealth so lots of money coming in guys and you beginning at work and with this comes in a new relationship i'm seeing there's a new spark at work i feel like um, new spark at work someone at work is going to come into your life i feel maybe a new place of work someone new has just joined in but whoever this is they could be from a different country they're freshly joined or you have just met this person i'm seeing there's going to be a lot of conversations between the two of you this is your dream person actually this is a person that you was wanting to get married to so that's the person that's coming into your life Taurus. ten of pentacles it's not too late when you will get committed and when you will be in a happy marriage but you have to go through certain uh, ups and downs in your life you know why you're going through this anxiety or a fear because you're still holding on to something that doesn't belong to you or you're still keeping yourself in a confused state of mind two-minded when you're double-minded you have trouble growing you have trouble expanding becoming more successful so there is a need for you to be in a single-minded energy wherever you're going you should be leaving everything behind if you leave if you uh, accept the ending has happened you know, if you're if you're in this clarity of mind that you're 100% in the present moment, you will see the new relationship coming into your life. It's because there's some sort of a confusion that's keeping you stuck somewhere and is stopping you from having this beautiful ultimate relationship to happen. What are wants? Then we're having the temperance. The seven of swords and the seven of wands. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Keep patience. Someone is lying to you or being non-committal to you that you need to walk away from. There is a need for you, uh, Taurus, to let go of someone that is just taking most of your time and attention unnecessarily 
Someone is wasting your time and attention. You need to walk away from that person. Seven of Swords. They, they're lying. Okay? So there's a person that you need to stop giving attention to. Yes. Continue to end the connection. Like whoever this is that is making you feel like this is uh, not happening. There is someone that's keeping you in this double-minded situation. There is someone that is keeping you stuck. You have to literally stop stop giving this person attention completely close the doors from that person scorpio maybe it's a scorpio but you need to completely stop giving any attention to that person because they are blocking your movement forward movement and you're very stuck you're stuck on the wrong person let me tell you that this is not the person for you i have to clarify this thing okay so that you know that you're wasting your time Beyond this is a happy marriage, is a happy ending. Only if you allow yourself to not remain stuck. End this again. Something that you need to end, guys. You know this thing. Maybe this is a Pisces you need to end a connection from. Taurus, please. I left you before you could leave me. I feel like you have to decide to let go of this person because you know that this person will never commit to you. There is someone that is in your mind or you're still holding on to this person that they will, you know, change. They will change, but they will not change. And this is also taking away your sleep. Okay. Even my dogs are confirming in the background. There's a fear of losing this person. And that fear is creating a sense of confusion in your life. As long as you stay fearful and confused of, you know, where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed to do, you will never be able to be happy. So there is a need for you to put an end to something that's keeping you stuck, that's keeping you in a double-minded, fearful energy, which is very clear. Hi. Let me see what else. Yes, release. You're in this codependent, addicted energy. You're addicted to someone. You're just, I don't know, you're thinking about that person nonstop or whatever it is, but you're addicted to someone. You need to release that person from your system. Free yourself and have a playful lifestyle. Have fun. There is no need to be too serious about things. Once you accept this fact, you're good to go. Right? So, Taurus. You're stuck with the wrong person. Mm -hmm. That is the main idea behind this read. You know what to do. So get over this. Yes, and you have a lot of qualities. You don't know your own qualities yet. And it is time for you to discover your qualities and love yourself. I heart you. Whoever is coming towards you next is the one that's going to say it on your face that they're in love with you. So you don't have to be too confused about whether he or she is the one or whether he or she is not the one. Be happy. Don't worry. Thinking man. Yeah. This person will always waste their time thinking about whether they want to make a decision towards you or whether they don't. It doesn't matter. If this person is going to keep you in this energy like let me think, let me think, let me think. You have to walk away. There's someone you have to walk away from very clearly. Okay, because you expect marriage and they're not giving you that. They're not the person for you. They're not your soulmate. And there's a new beginning coming into your life real soon. Trust the process is something that I want to say. Yes, someone new is coming into your life. You have options coming in. Maybe a Gemini is interested. Someone from a different country has told you at your work for some of you. Now, it depends from person to person, but that's another. That's just unseen uh, a possibility. I'm just telling you the possibilities. But there is a new person that's coming into your life. They're a boss. There's someone that is at a high position, authoritative, and wants to take the lead in this. And this is someone that knows it all, like I know it all kind of a person. Authoritative, extremely passionate, Seems like a strong fire sign energy, very strong fire sign energy, authoritative, competitive. And when you're going to find 
this new person this past person will try to get you to you know come after them they'll try to seduce you to come after them but don't fall for them the sinking man and the king of swords this person will always keep you stuck by telling you that let me think i'm not sure let me think i'm not sure that's the energy that they're giving but you can't stay in that stuck energy they're just playing with your mind and you have to understand that your life is precious and you can't you cannot waste a moment for you know these things and you have to move forward dance away with life that's something that you have to do right now they could be in aries interested but what i'm seeing is the one that keeps you happy is the one for you but this person that you're stuck on you will be stuck on you have to be very careful about okay the one that keeps you stuck is not the one that's a simple line you're going to dance with life when this person comes in they're going to like you being happy. They don't want to keep you stuck. They just want to see a big smile on your face. And that's the person that will marry you because they're a marriage material. You're going to instantly connect with this person. I feel they will instantly get attached to you. There will be fire in the soul this person feels for you. And they're not able to tell you why and how, but they're feeling it. And it's so strong that they're just not able to control themselves. There's someone that is feeling a strong, intense, passionate desire to be with you. Not the one that's keeping you stuck, of course. But you have to come out of this blindfolded, confused and I'm too nice uh, girlfriend or I'm too nice boyfriend kind of energy. You have to come out of that and explore new options. The two of cups, you're about to meet your soulmate. That's a confirmation. But you have to take that step. You have to take control of your life. Okay, if you don't, who else will? Who else will take control of your life if you don't? Another sign, playfulness, playfulness. It's time for you to just take it easy. Laugh around, have some fun, build memories. Love is the greatest healer. You don't have to be with the person, you know, in a fear that you might lose your, you know, uh, relationship. Like you have to be with someone that keeps you happy. So be in this playful energy. That's when your person finds you. When they see you, you will be doing something fun and exciting you're enjoying with life that's what you're doing when this person finds you let me see who is your soulmate coming next yes there is a need for you to come out of this chaotic conflicting situation with someone that's holding you tight and you're imagining things too much and you're in a bubble you need to burst that bubble you need to come into the reality because the aquarius the star sign and the imagine sign this person is your dream person but you have to come out of this imagination thing you have to like go out and make those changes and make those efforts that make you uh, get to know new people stop creating conflicts in your life by this person by allowing this person to take over for someone that really needs to go away okay someone is 33 here 60 50 as well 43 so all your dreams are going to come true this person is exactly your heart to be happy to be with like this is someone like a dream person very rich and successful and good looking and everything they have in themselves it's not like oh there's another kind of person i would be happy with they are your heart's desire this is exactly your the dreams are becoming reality and then you're having value yourself for your retirement in even if you end up staying alone, even if you end up like being single, it's okay. But you have to be with the right person. This is very important for you. Imagine, understand that you are a gem and nobody can take that shine away from you. And this person is taking that shine away from you. So value your self-worth. Your intuition is already telling you what you're supposed to do in this situation. Trust yourself. Trust the intuition. It is guiding you, right? I see the signs coming in for you. Okay. We have Taurus, another Taurus. You're a gem. This is you. Libra. We have Libra again. And one more, please. We have Aquarius. These are the most probable signs. Let's see from all sign messages. What is your person thinking for you? For you? And then you're going to move towards the charms. One more. Okay. Aries towards Taurus, please. Okay. They see you as a marriage material. They see you as their twin flame. They see you as their better half. 
but this person really wants you to get over your past or something that is keeping you stuck because because of which they feel like maybe they're not at the right time with you taurus caesar is a dream come true is a wish come true the gemini gemini is highly passionate and driven towards you cancer Cancer is, um, I feel the king of swords, the cancer person is fixated on you, is thinking a lot about you. I, no, I feel like this is that cancer person you need to get over from. Leo. Leo is making a decision to come towards you fast and they're very attracted to you. Virgo. They keep breaking your heart, stay away. Libra. Very attracted towards you finds you one of a kind they want to be with you they see you as a soulmate this could be the one scorpio scorpio is very very like they want to double date triple date or they just love to be alone and they're you know they're very weird kind of a person so stay away from this person they keep lying to you about a lot of things sagittarius they don't think of themselves as good enough for you confidence issues capricorn has a huge crush wants to take it forward and see how it goes Aquarius. Aquarius is trying to manifest you. This person is highly attracted and they want to take you out. They want to spend money on you and they want to impress you. They could be the one. Pisces. There you go. Pisces person looks uh, uh, for marriage. Looks for a deep commitment. A relationship that lasts long and they want to marry you. See okay yes it's time for you to be playful have fun literally enjoy life to the t okay uh life is full of colors so don't keep it just black and white and don't keep focusing on the bad part or on the you know and don't stay stuck like you're you're definitely you have a tendency to manifest anything that you want your dreams are coming true so think big fly high and yes renewal an athlete I feel like uh, you might join uh, an exercise place. Maybe you're an athlete or you're just renewing yourself by doing some activities that keep you fit and healthy. Maybe joining a gym. I'm also seeing you doing some spiritual work on yourself. Like for example, meditation, deep breathing exercises. These keep you healthy and happy. And you're definitely taking good care of yourself. That is why you're in limelight. Yeah. Someone that keeps you stuck, you have to let go of that person. But. <sighs> Someone is like into addictions and all. Have to be careful. Someone's name is Tracy. Something with TR. Yeah, someone has a lot of addictions. I feel like the one that you have to let go of. Tarot. Someone is a tarot reader. Or oh, the tarot readings are really helping you get the great guidance that you're looking for. Someone's from Bora Bora. Someone's from India. Someone's from like Bangladesh, Brisbane, Australia. Fati could be the name. Farah, Tiffany, Brooks, BR, something with BR. You have big bust. You're into witchcraft or your person is. It's also talking about groom, wedding. Okay, so you have to look for the right person for yourself. Uh, someone is a bartender or is working in a bar. River rafting. Some of you are going there. I'm seeing that someone from the far is coming towards you for a new relationship. The right person.
Bernard. Someone who's a coffee lover, like diehard coffee lover over here. You're going on a tour. Or something but true. Aura. I'm seeing like you have, you've been like getting the aura red. Like it's time for you to literally get over something that is keeping you stuck. Yeah. So that is about it, Taurus. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to I Enigma. I'll see you back again with more stuff. Bye.